here is a question from Bikram Chanda from Assam, India. And he is asking, dear sir, how do you think corruption can be uprooted from this country? I believe India can become a superpower only if corruption is eradicated. And if you can put it in perspective with respect to Swaraj Abhiyan efforts. Uh, see, this is a much uh, debated uh, question. And uh, already uh, many possible solutions are in public realm. And Swaraj Abhiyan will struggle for that. Janlokpal, the proposed Janlokpal itself was a very effective instrument to fight corruption. Now the experience of last four years is that though it was discussed in great detail, there was tremendous support for that. But again, it is falling from public radar. But I'm sure with one or two scandals coming to the fore, because there is a new government, people want to give time to the new government, but it is already now 18 months plus, and scandal likes Byapam are before us. Popular anger will again force all governments to respond to that and some institution like Jan Lokpal which at the moment all parties are hell-bent on avoiding including Amhadmi parties Arvind Kejriwal who came to the power on the campaign of Jan Lokpal ah, they have passed what we can say is one of the weakest anti-corruption uh, mechanisms so apart from that also, during the moment itself, if some of us can remember some of the interviews of Prashant Bhushan, he emphasized that it is not a question, simple question of taking money and bribery, the scandals which were in the public realm, but the policy corruptions are much more serious issues. So it is not only discovery and punishment of corruption, to make our systems transparent, to make our systems accountable. That is the main thing for preventing of the corruption. Of course, there should be strong laws, strong institutions to punish the corrupt, but to make our system more transparent, more accountable, to make our system more de decentralized, to give our people more power, effective power and autonomy to local institutions, that will go a long way in eradicating corruption in this country.